KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa, has been home to the world's largest animals for millennia. However, the size of this habitat has been diminishing with expanding human development. Here, game reserves like Nambiti are proving to be the solution in managing the land so that animals and humans can live and thrive together. When people understand that the, the ecotourism business that was run here thrives on, on this place being a, a genuine big five game reserve. You know, what's good for the land, what's good for the wildlife, what's good for the people, you know. Relocating animal herds to other like-minded big five game reserves is effective and it's one process they use to steward their land. You have to have the land, you have to have the, the food to feed the animals. Uh, and if the elephants start impacting on that, they start impacting on other species. So, you know, it's important to get an equilibrium between all the animals that you have on a game reserve like this. Recently, Nambiti's elephant population reached a critical level. Clark and his team made the decision to relocate an elephant herd to a neighboring reserve. So we moved the first group uh, last year. You, you try and move a family group initially, and that's a, a, a matriarch with, uh, with her uh, family group of, of elephants. And that to bring the bulls in a bit later. Employing professional medical teams to humanely dart, capture, and relocate these animals is less stressful and less disruptive to their well-being. It's quite an exciting thing to watch. Um, it's really amazing to see an animal that size being hoisted up onto a truck. Land management and relocating herds is only part of the solution. The long-term survival of wildlife depends largely on the engagement of local communities, so community development is key. Nambiti's anti-poaching units train local residents to counteract the poaching crisis to protect their elephants, their rhino and other endangered species. KwaZulu-Natal was the home of, of the rhino. Our anti-poaching units have done incredibly well looking after them, as they have with obviously all the other species. Another solution adopted by many game reserves is to dehorn the rhino. You would probably be dehorning a, a rhino every three, three and a half years. Every time we dehorn a rhino, we're probably talking about $4,000. It is costly because you're using uh, experienced uh, wildlife vets. Over and above Africa's mandate is to ease the human-animal conflict and to end poaching through fundraising initiatives that help game reserves like Nambiti with their critical programs. Looking after the land and animals means looking after the people too. It's more than relocating herds. It's working within the communities, providing education and creating economic opportunities for all. Now we can provide 10 times more job than any other land usage camps. That really is positive for everybody. Working together, we can help end the human-animal conflict and the poaching crisis by supporting successful solutions for community development. Please, contribute to Over and Above Africa so that we can continue to fund these winning initiatives.